Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about what is electromagnetic inductions. So till far, we have studied about that when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field is placed in magnetic field such that the direction of current is perpendicular to the magnetic field it experiences a force as we have discussed about Fleming's left hand rule it experiences a force so this force causes the conductor to move now let us imagine a situation in which a conductor is already moving inside a magnetic field or a magnetic field is changed around a fixed conductor so what will happen this was first studied by English physicist Michael Faraday Michael Faraday in 1831 okay so what he studied that how a moving magnet can be used to generate how a moving magnet can be used to generate electric currents ok so to observe this effect we will see ok we will do one activity based on this So student what you have to do in this activity is take a coil of wire AB having a large number of turns like solenoid ok so connect the ends connect the ends of the coil to a perpendicular uh, sorry to a galvanometer so let me show you how to connect the diagram ok so it is like it is a coil on which a wire is rotated ok and this wire in turn is connected to the galvanometer ok so this is the setup students and here is a bar magnet north pole and south pole ok this is AB so let me first arrange the above thing so and third point is to take a strong bar magnet third point is take a strong bar magnet which I have shown below ok and move its north pole towards the so the north pole towards the end B of the coil so do you see any changes in the galvanometer ok so there is a momentary deflection in the galvanometer in the needle of the galvanometer ok so this indicates the presence of the current in coil AB ok deflection in galvanometer shows current in AB coil A ok now withdraw the north pole of the magnet 
away from it now do this so you will see that there is uh, now the direction there is a deflection in the galvanometer now opposite earlier it was like in this direction now it is in left side okay so from this we can state that there is always a current when a strong bar magnet is means in a motion around the circular coil so what we can say from here is when the coil and the magnet are both stationary so now the conclusion when the coil and the and magnet are both stationary there is no deflection stationary no deflection okay it is thus clear from the activity that motion of a magnet with respect to the coil motion of magnet with respect to the coil produces an induced potential difference induced potential difference induced potential difference which setups an induced electric current okay students so this is how electromagnetic induction works okay means a current is induced due to the magnet okay so that induced current is found to be the highest when the direction of the motion of coil is at right so let me first delete this students i am writing here the definition that the process by which a changing magnetic field a changing magnetic field in a conductor induces a current in another conductor is called electro magnetic induction okay students so i hope that you are pretty clear about what is electromagnetic induction and in the next lecture we will discuss about electric generator students so stay tuned for the next lecture on electric generator thank you happy learning